Hey everyone, I'm Zayn and welcome back to another video on the channel and today guys we are going to be building Grian's Hermitcraft Season 6 base which is just up there and in the last episode we worked on the Mustachinator which is in that part of the base and we can just see the kind of containers and we're going to be continuing with that today and maybe getting on to the nature bit at the top of the base. However, first we must add someone to the Hall of Fame and the person we're going to be adding is... I'm going to go with Hizix, um, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, who is on episode 17 and doing it in survival. So thank you so much for following along to the tutorial. If you want to be added to the Hall of Fame, you know what to do. Episode you're on, game mode, fish bash bosh. Uh, so anyway, let's see how construction Tim is. Buddy, n no, no, oh, I don't have my kitchen anymore. Oh God, I'm, I'm so hungry. No, okay, well construction Tim's taken over the kitchen and just about half my bedroom, but dearie dearie me. <laughs> anyway, let's, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So let's enter through here and you're gonna wanna go to the floor where the mustachinator is. And you should have this from the last episode. And now we are gonna build another column, kind of another tube where there's gonna be an animal. And basically we want to get our iron blocks and magenta stained glass and then we want to go one two three so take the left corner of the mustachinator then go three out and then build up one two three four five six and then go an extra two but these ones you just want to break this is just a kind of i probably should have built this in a different block so, but just leave the last two up so it should be it you should be able to get six blocks underneath this and then we can link this up to the side here. So there should be three blocks there. And then we can go one more up and build the three by three area. And this is just normal three by three. You don't want to do like an extra thing on this side like you did with these columns. It's very normal. It's kind of like just what you think it would be. So now we can make a start on the glass. And this glass is a little bit different because you're going to want to need uh, magenta stained glass blocks as well as panes so you want to do the blocks in the middle and then the panes in the corner so you should kind of have this and then also you want to place soul sand here instead of iron there we go bit weird but thought might as well include it and we are going to want to build this up quite a bit actually we're going to want to build it up we're going to want to build it up 11 blocks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 perfect and then do the same here and basically just do the same thing 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 all the way up so that you have something looking pretty nice. So yeah, you build up the glass panes in the corner and the glass blocks in the middle until you eventually have something that looks like this. So as you can see, that one's very tall, but uh, let's just do the top of it now. And for that, we're just gonna wanna make the three by three square again. And we're gonna wanna build one, two, three, four, five, six and just basically meet this along so there should be four blocks to the side of this one two three four so there we go that's looking uh, very nice and that's the next one done so now we just have to do this one over here so now we actually only have one more of these kind of tube things to do and uh so i've got my diamond blocks here so we can properly measure it and easily distinguish the iron from diamonds so we're gonna want to have our lime stained glass right let's come over to this corner of the mustachinator and just go with any block it can literally be anything in the game because we're about to destroy it but just so we can measure and know exactly what we want to build this go out four so one two three four and then you want to go up by nine blocks in total including this one so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we get our iron and then go one two and now that we've got this, we can actually destroy these diamond blocks. We do not need them anymore. Just literally a placeholder. So it should be four along from the left, from the right corner and then nine up and then you get your two iron blocks. So now that you've got these two blocks, you wanna go one along to the right. So you should have like kind of 
this sort of shape and then go one back and then go two along and that should reach the wall and obviously uh, this would be on the bottom block not the top block and now we are basically just going to want to do the same thing as the original container so we go this is going to be like the floor of it so we go three by three and then we want to basically extend it by three on each side we don't like fill in the corners so it should just kind of be a little bit like this which is perfect and then we can get our lime stained glass again and go around uh just putting the corners there so we should basically should have kind of five blocks in the middle that we can walk on and then a few half blocks as well so we want to extend this by four so we should have one two three four five in total and then we can basically just do the same thing with the iron blocks so yeah basically just go around you guys should know how to do it by now just build up to three four and five there we go so just do that all right that is now looking good so again five blocks up there and i also did the roof of this as you can see just exactly the same as the bottom it should not be too hard so now for the little bit more complicated bit we are going to want to do the top kind of bit and this connects in a really weird way and confusing way so we go place one block here and then one diagonally up so it should just be touching by the sides you want to do another one and then you go across six so we've got one already two three four five six and then we want to go across four so one two three four already got one there as the corner and i want to turn this way and make a staircase down basically connecting each stair by a block which should kind of look like this i'm not sure how else to explain it should go down along down along down along down along and then basically we just want to go seven blocks in total so including these two three four five six seven and then that is basically this bit connected because in the actual thing it has redstone but redstone wouldn't work on bedrock and yeah so there's just no point in me building it because i wouldn't know if i got it right or wrong and it would be so confusing and we're here for the looks really so obviously it looks amazing so we are good with this this entire floor is basically done other than water elevators and the walls maybe a few slight decorations but now we've got this floor really and also this floor completely done which is awesome so we are actually getting there with the base it shouldn't be too much more time this floor is completely empty so again this is already done and this floor this is the grass floor and we may as well start it right now so let's get your grass and we're going to start off with placing the grass all around so it should just be in line with this kind of top bit and just place it completely off to the side so just create a flat bit of grass and just fill up all of this and obviously there is a bit of terraining we're gonna have to do which is not the most fun but it's gonna look really really nice and we can build a few trees and i'm not sure if we'll manage to get this completely done in this episode but either way we should have the beginnings of this floor so yeah basically just continue this and once you're done you should have this i will say this looks very satisfying to look at but yeah this is what it should look like so that's great and we may as well start with a bit of the training so we want to face the front tower so it should be this one and um basically what we're gonna do so we're gonna start with the next layer and let's take it from this corner we are going to want to go one two three and then place a block and then a block to the left and then we want to go one diagonal diagonally to the left and one back so this is going to be very painful i'm going to warn you guys but unfortunately it's necessary for the base to be fully authentic and then we want to do another diagonal to the left and then we can kind of turn around and we want to go uh one two three four five six and then we want to go forward and go one two and then let's just put go forward again and put one and now let's just go over here and do this bit we are actually going to want to go one back not diagonal just fully back and then place two things of grass here 
and then go forward one and go one, two, so just diagonally like that. And then, actually no, sorry, three. And then we're gonna go diagonally forward and go two. And then go diagonally forward and go one, two, so toward, you're building towards yourself. And then you wanna just do another diagonal like this. And then you just go one, two, three, four, five. And then that is looking pretty good so far. So now we just gotta do this corner. So let's just recap over that because I know that can be a little dicey to understand. So we'll start here and we wanna go one. So start from the corner and go one, two, three. And we've got two blocks and then forward and diagonal one, forward and diagonal one, and then turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat along here, which is forward and diagonal, come back. And then forward and diagonal, one, two, forward and diagonal, one. And then let's just go over here. So you go one back and then two diagonals here. Well, like two, one diagonal, another flat one in line with that. And then diagonal forward, one, two, three, diagonal forward, one, two, diagonal forward, and then one in front of that. So you kind of want to turn here and then diagonal back, one, diagonal back, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so we haven't actually finished this, so let's just go and do this bit. Okay, so let's come over to the last five we did, which should be kind of on this side of things. And we want to go back one and go one, two, three. So that should be diagonal to that. And then we want to go one forward. So there's just like a little indent here. And then we turn and then go diagonally, one, two. And then we want to go forward again and go one, two, three. So this should be two away from this part and it should be like the first block of this. And then you want to do, then you want to go five along here, which should be one away from this. So one, two, three, four, five, and it should end at this kind of bit here. And then we go one back grass here. And then there we go, we have met up with this thing. So have a look at that and you can change yours to fit this. I'll actually do it this way because that might be easier. So yeah, you can have a look at that. Um, I'll tell you what the strips are. This strip is six blocks long. This one is five blocks long, three, because I know these ones are sometimes a bit harder to tell. Three, this one's five. And yeah, that's good. So now you're basically just wanna do the exact same thing. Don't fill in this way, just fill in back the way. Just, yeah, don't fill in this because you wanna keep this as just flat like it is. Just fill in all the way back from here. So yeah, basically this is a barrier. Don't fill in anything past this and keep this exactly as how we built it. So just fill everything in like that. And once you're done, you should have this. All right, so we want to have this and hopefully that wasn't too hard, guys. Actually, it kind of looks like a heart. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too hard, guys. It's really hard to explain terrain, but I did my best. So hopefully my best was good enough for all of you. So now let's not be too hasty because there is one more layer of terrain that we need to do, but that shouldn't be too bad. So let's start. Let's start at the top of our beautiful little heart here. And let's go... Let's go over to this corner here because this is probably the easiest to start from. We're gonna go one to the left and start like this. So place your first block exactly next to just one up from that bit. And then we wanna go one back. So it's like a block of two. And then we go one diagonal and then one, two. So this is basically completely symmetrical here so far. And then we wanna go one, two, three, four. And that should be in line with this last bit of glass before the uh, terracotta and then we want to go back one even one more and go one two three four five and then we want to go forward very abruptly we want to go forward one two three and then after that you are going to want to go to the side and in front by one diagonal and then go another diagonal but add one on the end so it's like two and then we're gonna do another two diagonally back and then we go one back. Okay, so now you wanna go back one more and go one, two, three, four. So that should be in line with this, the middle block of this these three. And then you wanna go forward 
and go one, two, three, and then you want to go one, and then you want to turn and go diagonally, one, two, and you kind of want to do the same thing that you did here. So you want to go one, two here, and then one back as well, but not diagonally. And then you want to go four along from here. So go diagonally back and go one, two, three, four, and then you want to go back one more and go one, two, three. And then you want to go forward and go one, two, three. And any time we do anything, it's always going to be by a diagonal unless I specify it isn't, just so you guys know. And then you want to go forward one and then you want to go forward one and then add one onto the side. And then you want to go one, two, three, so you kind of want to turn, so you have two on this side and three on this side, so it's a little rectangle here, and this is connected by a diagonal. And then you want to go back and go one, two, and then you actually want to go forward one. So now you want to go back and you're going to want to build six blocks along, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And so that should look like this. So I'll just kind of briefly go around so you can see each block, duh, duh, duh. so you can count and you should see my cursor going over them just in case you need to recheck uh, anything you've counted before. So yeah, this is what it should look like. And this is the last layer. So once we do this, we should be able to start adding a bit of detail, which I'm not sure if we managed to do in this episode, but um, we definitely will manage to in the next episode. And hopefully we'll be able to finish all this up and then we can start working on the first floor, which will probably take a while. I think I've been around everything now. And yeah, so you want to basically just go back. So do what you did on the previous one and just go back and fill that in any space behind this kind of barrier. And then once you're done, you should have this. All right, so that is the grass layer floor completely done. Well, not completely done. The kind of base of it completely done anyway. Uh, so now we can start adding a little bit of the detail. So that's good news. So you're basically going to want to get quite a few things. You're going to want to get spruce trapdoors, dark oak trapdoors, green carpets, and a button, just a stone, normal stone button. And that should be everything for now. Oh, wait, actually, you're going to want to get grass, just the grass in place down. So. Right, let's go and face the front tower, so this flat one. So you wanna take this and you wanna go one, and then there's one block of grass, and then the next one along, you place your green carpet. And then exactly diagonal forward from that, you wanna place grass. And then you wanna skip a block and then place a button. And then actually let's go on the other side, you wanna go one forward diagonally anyway, and then one more to the side and you place a button. So this just gives a much nicer look, you know. And then you want to skip a block and place another button because these are supposed to be like pebbles, I guess. And you're actually going to want to get double tall grass and large ferns as well, which is the two. Yeah, this is right. And then you're going to want to go just move on from here all the way to the very end that you can go and place a double tall grass. So that should be on the edge of these, this two thing here and then skip a block and then place a large fern. And then, oh, we're actually gonna wanna get cobblestone slab. And we wanna place a cobblestone slab directly in front of this fern, so we should be facing this way. And it's on the bod and it's at the side, just tucked into this five bit here. And now let's go this way and let's go up here. And we are going to want to go one forward and then one to the side, you want to place a button and then a green carpet like this. So let's go over here and we are going to want to go from here and we're going to want to go all the way along to the very end here and we're going to play, we're going to place a green carpet as far as we can go other than this block tucked in. So that should be in line with that other green carpet. Then we're going to want to place a cobblestone slab and then next to this in this corner here, another stone button. And then that is everything for the first bit other than one small fern. So let's get that, just a regular fern. And we want to place it 
forward and diagonal from this button so it's just kind of in the middle of this bit here well on the third block of the six so that's what you should have just have a look at that and you can add if you have forgotten anything and now let's get our spruce and dark oak trapdoors and then unfortunately i think we will have to end the episode so let's go over to this fern here and i've just realized we're going to need grass and we're going to want to place this grass in the corner here anyway you want to take this fern so it should be on the third block along with the six and then you're want, going to want to take spruce trap doors and then you want to place one and then you need to crouch so you can place another two and then three so you can flap all those up and this is where Randall changed his skin and green built this little curtain so green didn't watch him change obviously and then um so we want to take our dark oak so it's kind of strips of spruce dark oak so you want to crouch and place dark oak trap door and then flip that up and then you can place one and then another one so you don't actually have to flap this one up you can just crouch and place a trap door and it should go on top of that and work perfect thing and then you want to go another one another strip of spruce so let's just place a trap door and then let's place another trap door oh we don't need to do that and that's i think the easiest way to do it then one more row just this is just dark oak and then you go like this and then you should have this by the end which is looking a pretty nice and then yeah i think this is what we're going to do for the day because we've done a lot of lovely progress and i think it's looking very nice up here already and we also managed to finish the assassinator which was great so i think that's where we're going to leave it for the day thank you all so so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please do remember to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel but for now I've been Zayden, and I'll see you all later.